The Vantage X221TSCI is the flagship among the X-series receivers scheduled for release in early December 2006. It is a combo receiver for DVB-T, terrestrial digital broadcasts, and also for DVB-S via satellite. It comes in either silver or black. In DVB-S mode, the receiver offers an incredibly fast and thorough blind scan function that will find around 30% more signals than any other blind scan receiver on the market today. But before we do a scan, let's take a look at the unit first. On the front, there is the on-off button. A toggle switch together with the menu and OK keys enable access to the receiver even without a remote control. In the middle is the display showing the channel number or in standby the time. Hidden behind a flap, there are two card readers with embedded Conex XScript scrambling systems as well as two common interface slots for further modules. Since the Vantage X221TSCI offers satellite and DVB-T reception, the IC input for terrestrial antenna is found here. Next to it, there is the IF input coming from the satellite antenna with a loop function. An RS-232 port is for connection to your computer. An HF input plus modulator is also available. Analog video and audio comes from the RCA outputs and digital sound is coming from the SPDIF out. Two SCART sockets connect to TV and VCR. The main switch is here. The remote control is ergonomic, all keys are clearly labeled and the most used keys are easily accessible with your thumb. Installation goes like this. First you select the language for menu, primary and secondary audio tracks, EPG, teletext and subtitles. In the media settings you can select the correct TV system, PAL, SACOM and NTSC are supported, TV aspect ratio 4x3 or 16x9 and signal output in RGB component or CVBS. The modulator works in the UHF band from channel 21 to 69. PAL, B, G, D and K are supported. Satellite installation looks like this. Choose among a vast array of international satellites supplied in the receiver's database, the right ones for you. All parameters for each satellite have been stored but can be changed at any time like the local oscillator frequency. DISIC 1.0, 1.1, 1.2 and users are fully supported. The auto scanning function allows an individual scan for specific satellites. Look for FTA on one, scan all channels on another and do a NIT search for the last satellite for example. An auto scan on a 100 transponder satellite takes 3 minutes and 7 seconds with the Vantage, totaling 1262 TV and 655 radio channels. Manual scanning is also possible and all presets like frequency or symbol rates can be altered freely. But lastly and most importantly the Vantage X221 TSCI offers a blind scan that is simply amazing. Choose any satellite, set the frequency to all to do a complete scan of the entire band and then select the megahertz steps you would like the receiver to use. You can choose from 1 to 5 megahertz. Certainly a scan with 5 megahertz will go faster than with only one, but it may not find everything. Now we take a closer look at what the Vantage can find during a blind scan. As you can see, SD and HD streams are detected. But also regular feeds in MPEG 420 and 422 are found. A search on TurkSat was also a complete success. The Vantage scanned the satellite in record time and not only found all active channels with the strangest of symbol rates, but also unlisted feeds. If you live in an area where DVB-T broadcasts can be received then you're lucky because the Vantage X221 TSCI also offers a DVB-T tuner. A search is quickly done for VHF and UHF bands together. Zapping in DVB-T and DVB-S is super fast and you get information about the current and next program. Change from terrestrial to satellite reception can be done instantly on the remote control. If you require more detailed information about a program's content, 
you press EPG on the remote and a window will open, offering a TV guide for several days in advance. The live picture plus sound is always available in a picture in picture graphic. It is easy to set a timer event. Go to reservation setting and choose start and end time and then save the settings. Editing channels is done like that. In the channel setup menus you select delete channels. Now all you have to do is mark the ones you don't like. Creating new favorites is similar. Simply tick the appropriate channels and they will appear in one of your favorite lists. Of course you can also rename any channel. A wide array of characters are at your convenience. Special features of the Vantage X221 TSCI include a zoom function where part of the screen can be enlarged. Video text is built into the receiver. That way if your projector does not support video text you can still use it through the Vantage. A page memory for fast access is also included. For display of what's happening on other channels, choose the multi-picture. Sometimes you want to take a close look at what's going on, well you can press pause and the picture freezes immediately. The Vantage X221 TSCI is a very special satellite receiver. It works with a 200 MHz CPU and features a blind scan function that will work even with the weakest of signals. Symbol rates as low as 1028 were found and locked during a scan on NSS7. This receiver will find 30% more signals than any other blind scan receiver on the market today and it will do it faster than others as well due to its sensitive Samsung tuner with an ST5119 chip. Additional features include two smart card readers with embedded Konex and Xcrypt plus two CI slots for CA modules. Unicable LMBs will be supported with a new software coming out early December. DICIG 1.0, 1.1, 1.2 and USELS protocols are implemented and up to 10,000 channels can be stored. If you subscribe to PayTV, you will also have access to all sub-channels during sports events. And last but not least, the receiver has a DVB-T tuner for terrestrial digital broadcasts.